Taylor in Chattanooga, Tennessee, home of the Chattanooga Choo Choo. <laughs> I wonder where that came from. Anyway, he says, could you show us in detail Octave's Pyramix system? I'm curious what hardware and converters you're using to run the DSD recording rig. Uh, how usable is the Pyramix software in your opinion? Is it similar to PCM-based DAWs, digital audio workstations, that most audio engineers would be familiar with? Thanks, Paul. Um, and that's from Paul Taylor. Okay, so this is sort of our... Uh, by the time you see this video, you know, I do these videos in advance so that I can actually have a life. I come down on Saturday and I'll, I'll run through a bunch of videos and answer questions for people, which I'm happy to do. By the time you see this, the studio will be fully functional and running. Right now, we're kind of set up on a card table, <laughs> and probably everything will change. So let's go through the hardware chain. It, it isn't that complicated, and it's r rather simple. So in this particular rack, you can see a whole bunch of equipment. Here's your standard patch bay to where we, you know, we have normal, if you just leave these alone, they'll connect the top to the bottom, that kind of thing, which you're probably familiar with, right? So and we have, and I'll, in, in a later video, I'll show you we have these big uh, uh, XLR patch bays, or not, X, XLR input stages. We plug a microphone into one, it goes over here into the studio, or we can send it somewhere over to the ISO rooms or we could send it to the mix room or to the reverb. Anyway, there's a lot of routing. There's hundreds and hundreds of, of feet of cable in this, in this room. Um, but at the end of the day, the simple chain is the microphones all hooked up with XLR connectors go into um, a junction box. They come over here through this and they'll go into the A to D converters. Now, Eventually, we'd like to build our own A to D converters because I'm pretty sure we could do a better job. But Merging, who does Pyramix, has done a great job. These are all our favorite A to D converters, which are AKM. And, and for those of you in, in the know uh, might recognize AKM, great Japanese brand. They make the very best. Well, they're the ones that had a, a, a tragic, horrible fire that wiped out their entire uh, uh, fab. I mean, everywhere that these chips went, and they made the world's best, uh, you know, off-the-shelf DACs and, and, and A to D converters. Oh my gosh, they were state-of-the-art. Nobody did it better. And uh, they had a fire and wiped the whole thing out. They're trying to rebuild, but even as we're talking right now, you can't go out and buy a AKM chips. So these are somewhat of a rarity now. But we've got 64 channels at Octave Studios of DSD A to D. So this particular happy, they call it a happy. The naming is kind of goofy. I don't know. It's a, you know, it's Pyramix, Pyramid. And so what goes along with pyramids? Well, you know, e Egyptians and Egyptian gods and all that. So happy is some kind of, I don't know, maybe it's a lion. There's a picture of a lion there. Um, you can configure these however you want. We've configured these to be 16 channel A to D converters. And they just connect up with DB25 connectors in the back. They are all addressable from the DAW up here so that you can set mic gains and all that. And then below that, we have our choices of extra or different mic preamps. So the, these are the Fred Forcell discretes, and they have a very different sound than the mic preamps built into the A to D converters on the Pyramix and the, the Happies. And down here we have uh, my buddy Ivana Manley's wonderful vacuum tube devices. So we can choose any of these, put them into the A to D converter, then they go into the DAW. So the other part of, and, and this is just simply a surface controller that uh, it, it, many of you may have recognized, it's an Avid S1, series of Avid S1s that we just use to make a rough mix. Because what we're trying to do is uh, use, the, in, the tracking room is right there. We wanna get the, the speakers in the rough mix so that when it comes time to, um, to do the final mix, we have an idea of where we're at, but mostly 
the sound that we're looking for, the quality of the miking and all is completely dependent on the engineer's ability to set up the proper microphones in the proper way to get the sound that we want. And how do we know if we get the sound we want? Well, because we have the FR30 loudspeakers that we use for monitoring in here and we use for mixing in the other room. And those speakers are as revealing as any speaker that you would ever want. Plus, and this is, I know, this is, people go, oh my gosh, you're not using industry standards. You're right, we're not using industry standards, thank God, because the industry mostly makes pretty bad recordings. <laughs> ah, ah, drives me bananas. We use the actual equipment that people who have discerning tastes that are audiophiles that really care about the way music sounds, I mean really care, this is what they're going to listen to it on. So it only makes sense to use that same equipment to make the recordings on because we can hear the miking if it's too close, if it's too far away. All, anyway, end of rant. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you can see, this is fairly standard stuff. Um, here's all the tracks. There's a 32-track mix right here, and and you can see, um, you can set it up, name it whatever you want. It's 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 like Pro Tools. I mean, visually maybe not, but and then over here is a mixer. Um, now, part of the problem with and and we control the, the the mixers over here. You can see the sliders going up and down, right? Uh, and then all the microphone, uh, if we're using the internal ones, are all controlled, that's the mic level. So in DSD, you can't control the level and you can't mix DSD. DSD is a pure one-bit recording system. So what this does, what the Pyramix system does, is allows us to record our 32 or 64, or whatever, however many tracks we want, to a, a straight file. This is just a DSF or whatever kind of, uh, I, I think we use DSF, but it doesn't matter, whatever file extension. It's a one bit DSD recording. Now, we, we've been doing 256, which is 4X DSD. That's kind of our standard right now. And so when you record, you all you can do is change the, the preamp, the mic level, to get it into the range you want, so you don't clip and you don't have too low and too much you know, noise and all that. That's all you can do. You can't mix it, you can't level adjust it. You can only adjust the input to the A to D converter. Does that make sense? Where normally, you could control all of that uh, in, in the PCM world, you can mix and go, you can't do that in DSD. So, because you can't mix on the fly and all that, Pyramix makes it possible to actually monitor and, and change this rough mix because it's being converted to PCM just for us here in the studio. The actual files are the pure DSD. We can use those, we can go, you can use an analog mixer, you can use a PCM mixer like we're doing here, and you can hear what's going on and get a rough idea of the mix. Close enough that we can set up the microphones to be perfect in the way that we, that we want. So that's the basic chain and it is, the learning curve on Pyramix, not for the faint of heart. Where, where did I, here, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Ugh. See this? Ugh. Ugh. That's the owner's manual. I, I, when I went to Kinko's, I couldn't print it. <laughs> they didn't have anything big enough to print it. I had to do it in two books. Um, it, it, it is not for the faint of heart. Once you get everything configured, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's like any DAW might use with some irregularities, but getting to this point, wow, yeah, okay. All right, so hope that answers your question. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I'll talk to you later. I gotta get this thing fixed, okay. Talk to you tomorrow.